Brand new polls show a very tight race right now shaping up between President Obama and Mitt Romney. The latest numbers from the Wall Street Journal and NBC show the president with a six-point edge over Mitt Romney. But is that good news for the president? Joining me now for some perspective, Mark Thiessen, a fellow with the American Enterprise Institute and a former speechwriter for President Bush, and Josh Block, who's a former spokesman for both the Clinton and Gore presidential campaigns. Guys, thank you both so much for being here. So uh, according to our numbers, the president's got this six-point edge over Mitt Romney, which is exactly where he was back in February of uh, this year, six points ahead. So he's sort of maintaining a, a six-point edge, a six-point edge, a six-point edge, January, February, March, and now. Mark, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that uh, polls in April are not very good predictors of what the final outcome is going to be. Josh's old boss, Bill Clinton, in April 1992 was 20, 20 points behind George H.W. Bush, and we know how that election turned out. If you look at the real clear politics average, uh, President Obama and, Pre and, and Romney are basically in a statistical dead heat. And that's pretty good considering that Romney just went through six months of negative attacks in a grueling primary campaign while Obama was, uh, was you know, being presidential in the White House. But there's some, uh, there's some good news for Romney. A, a Washington Post poll shows that 80% of conservatives uh, now have strong, strongly favor him. He had trouble consolidating the conservative vote, and he seems to be doing that. Uh, he's doing very well with independents. Evangelicals are coming around uh, to Romney, which there was a big question of whether evangelicals will vote for the Mormon candidate. So there's a lot of good news there, uh, there for Romney, and there's some bad, ominous signs for President Obama. Josh, would like to get you to pick up on a point uh, that Karl Rove was making, similar to one that Mark just made, about uh, where Romney stands versus President Obama, given his, you know, his having just emerged from this bruising primary fight. Listen to Rove a little earlier. Let's look at the plethora of polls that have appeared since the 11th of April when uh, Rick Santorum suspended his campaign. There have been, there have been 11 polls. Obama has led in six. Romney has led in four, and one of them was tied. If you average all of those polls together, 46.8 for Obama, 45 percent for Romney. That's an awful close start to uh, this campaign, particularly given that Romney's come through a, a tough primary that has uh, left him a little battered and bruised. Your thoughts on that, Josh? Well, I, I find myself in r remarkable agreement with both Mark and what Carl are saying there. You know, there's no question that the president's got a rough road ahead. It is not a slam dunk for either candidate. Uh, if the president wins this race, it's going to be eking it out at the end. I think there are some real problems for Romney going forward. You know, he's in most of the states that he won in the primary are blue states. Uh, he's got a lot of ground to make up. How much time is he going to have to spend in Georgia? Who knows? Uh, the, the presidential election is, a, is, a, is, not a, is not a blanket. It's a quilt. It's a tapestry. And the new swing states mm -hmm. out that the Democrats are going to compete for, where the president uh, seems to be doing pretty well, uh, are, are traditionally Republican states. Now, you look at Ohio, you know, the, the polls there have reversed since February. We have a Fox where, News poll from Ohio right now that shows the president up six points over Mitt Romney. So again, that, and that's a, that, that reversed from just February. So you see the president's message is resonating. You know, this fight for fairness seems to do a lot better with both core Republican voters and core Democrat voters than, than, do, than do the Republican messages, Romney's messages on just Mark, the economy. Mark, what of that? Because of the president now leading yeah. Mitt Romney in Ohio, they're neck and mm -hmm. neck, according to the latest Fox News poll, in Florida, yeah. another critical state. Why is that? Why are they neck and neck if, as the Republicans keep telling us, the president's doing a terrible job, the nation's had enough, we've mm -hmm. got record, you know, un unemployment, and so on and so forth. Why aren't these numbers strong? Longer for the Republican. Uh, well, part of the reason is because Romney hasn't picked his vice presidential nominee, which I suspect will be either Marco Rubio or Rob Portman, based on the numbers you just cited. <laughs> but uh, the, the other thing is, is that, look, it's a 45-45 country. We're a very deeply divided country. And this econ this, this, ultimately, this election is going to get decided on the economy. And the polls have very bad news for the president when it comes to the economy. First, the economy, the recovery is slowing down. But second, a third, CBS News poll showed a third of Americans think the economy, only a third of Americans think the economy is headed in the right direction. 16% say that their personal situation is improving, economic situation is improving, and about only 38% say that their situation will grow worse if Obama is reelected, while 26% say it'll improve. So those are really ominous numbers on the economy. So a lot of this really depends on does the recovery take off or does the recovery slow or falter? If it slows or falters, uh, then the president's going to have a really, really hard time getting reelected. Josh, as somebody who's worked for campaigns before, do they look at these overall numbers, you know, okay, the president's six point ahead, points ahead of Romney on, on a national basis, or are they looking at 
the individual polls like we just did, Florida, Ohio, Colorado, these other critical states? Well, I, I'm pretty sure that they're telling their staff not to look at any polls. Meanwhile, they're closing the door and they're pouring <laughs> over every single number they can find. Right. Uh, th there's no question yeah. that they're looking at the state-by-state -state breakdowns, and they're looking at how their messages are resonating with key constituencies. You know, the, the goal to win an election does not require 60%. It requires 50% plus mm -hmm. one vote. And I think they're trying to build those constituencies. If you look at the messages that are being tested uh, in these polls that we're talking about, the president's messages of fairness do a lot better among both core Democrat and core Democrat and core Republican voters, as well as with independents. And Mark's right, we're a divided country, so you're really talking to the middle. And I think that's where the fight's going to be had. And that advantages, I think, the president going forward. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've heard the president sure. keep talking about fair share, fair shot, fair share, share, that's fair. Uh, no, that was mine. Okay, guys, <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. Thank you so much.